First you put your arms around me Then you put your charms around me You stare into each other's eyes Hi guys, so today I have my foundation and contour routine and I wanted to make this video because I don't want to sound repetitive in my videos and I always do the same thing so I'm like, okay, let's make it a contour and foundation routine and the same because I, I can. I really go in depth in this tutorial just in the foundation part. I just did my thing in the contouring part. I really don't do like crazy contour. I just use powder contours. You know, you probably already know what I use, but I just wanted to make sure for my new subscribers, if you're new, hey, um, I wanted to make sure that my new subscribers have this video, so when they see some of my new videos and they see that I'm just doing my eye makeup and my lips, they are like, why well, she's not showing her foundation and her contouring routine, you know? It's because I already have a video made, which is this video, so yeah, I feel <laughs> okay if you you guys get me? Okay, I hope so. I hope you guys like this video. I really go and talk. This is a talk to tutorial because I feel like talking. I really don't want to do voiceover and I want to change it up a little bit. I was trying to, I wanted to do a tag. I wanted to do the TMI tag, but I don't know. I didn't, I don't know. So I did this instead. If you would like to know what I do for my foundation and my contouring routine, keep on watching. So before you put your foundation on, it's really important that you start with primers. So the primers I'm going to be using today are the Maybelline Baby Skin Skin Pore Eraser. And what this does is just erases your pores. I have really big pores. It's inherited. Inheritary, so I don't know how to say it, but you get me, you know. I never wore makeup, so it's not because I wore a lot of makeup, so I have big pores. I was born with it, you know. This is just like a I would say it's a silicone primer, it's like kind of transparent. So it's really important that you apply a primer because, well, it depends on your skin type, but it can prevent you from breaking out. And for me, it has totally changed my foundation game, it makes your foundation look flawless because of course you're like covering your pores and all those little details and all those imperfections so i mostly decided to start wearing primer because i was makeup was break up so i was breaking me out decided you know what i'm gonna buy a primer try it out and yeah after that i have had no problem with my face breaking out yeah sometimes i break up because i'm not perfect i'm still human so really start using a primer girls like i don't know how i did it before when i use no primer now i cannot put makeup on if i'm not using a primer you know so now another primer, this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and I will say this is like magic water, a <laughs> really expensive water but um, it does work, it has glycerin in it, so what glycerin does, I sound like making tutorials but it's true, just trying to inform you guys, but what glycerin does, it makes your makeup stick to it, so that makes your makeup last longer and this water it's really expensive i have like the sample size it smells really good but it does work after i use this and this my foundation game has looked flawless and i have got so many compliments in my makeup and i'm 100 percent sure it's because of this two babies right here so go get yourself some primer water i'm gonna do a really ugly face so what I do, I just wait for that to set and after that I'm going to start applying my foundation. And for foundation, if I'm not using my L'Oreal Lumi foundation in M12 Natural, which is too dark for me in camera, it looks perfect. But in real life, in New Year's, I was using this really b-neck thingy that was uh, like really down in my boobies you know you can see my cleavage and you can see that my foundation was way too dark for my face i'm just been getting paler because i don't go out a lot i think that's the case but plus it's a drugstore foundation so it's really difficult to kind of like know which one is your color and stuff like that this one is the one i grab if i'm not using this foundation i'm using the nars sheer glow foundation and this foundation is my favorite foundation but i just use this foundation for special occasions because we all know this foundation is really expensive this does match my color thank the lord jesus because i went to sephora and they matched it to my neck and all that stuff this foundation i will not recommend it for girls who are oily no not no like your face is gonna look 
crazy oily <laughs> use this foundation because as the foundation says it's lumi most of the stuff i use as you can see are to hydrate my face for you oily girls i'm so sorry i'm a dry girl so i'm just going to blend it in with my real techniques buffing brush so as you can see i always start from the bottom because I want to make sure I get my neck all the time because we don't want those lines and more me because my foundation is dark <laughs> so as you can see I pat it in and what this does is makes your foundation look airbrush I don't rub it in I pat it in be careful with the brows so I forgot to do this before applying my foundation but to cover my dark circles I always use the LA girl pro conceal HD high definition concealer and I just cover my dark circles because um, my sleeping schedule is almost up, so I've been getting a lot of dark circles. So I apply it here, and yeah, in my dark spot. And I try to bring it here too because it's, I get a lot of dark darkness here. Do I think this works? Yes, it works. You can definitely notice it more when you take pictures that you don't have dark circles. I definitely recommend it to you guys that are looking to cover your dark circles. It does work, I promise you. I don't promise you, but yeah, it does work. And I'm just gonna blend that with the same, my Real Scenic Spuffing Brush. And what I'm gonna do so you cannot see the orange, I'm gonna apply my uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. So I always make sure I set my foundation because I want, if I don't set my foundation, I get a patchy contour. So I always make sure I set it and what I use is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder 003 Natural. But what I do, I don't drag it in, again I pat it in and this also makes your foundation look airbrushed. As you can see, we're going for a theme with this foundation and it's always to go airbrush. To set my under eyes, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm going to use Banana and also set your eyelids because you put foundation there even though it's gonna crease anyways so now i'm gonna start my contour and what i use for contour is the Too Faced medium to deep matte bronzer and this it smells like chocolate it's a beautiful bronzer it just blends so smooth the, the consistent the consent step step dip the the consent step that oh my god i cannot talk ah! The consistency, mm. the consistent. Oh my God, the consistency, consistent. Okay, this bronzer is really creamy. It's just like butter blending on your face. You get it. It's wonderful. It's put, it's put it on our face. And I'm using my Real Techniques sculpting brush, and this brush is beautiful tap it because we don't want to look crack crack I always start this is my original contour you know I start up from that okay and I know it looks really dark we're gonna blend it it looks freaking like it looks like I just apply a, it doesn't look that, that dark okay let me apply it on this size so I can show you guys so now you cannot see nothing <laughs> So I always apply it higher because we are gonna blend it anyways and it's gonna go downward. This really does a difference. It makes your cheekbones look higher. I just started doing it because I thought it was kind of reasonable because I always found that my contour was blending and I had it like down here and I'm like, no, I'm gonna start upwards and anyways, it's gonna go down, you know? So do that. I always blend it by patting, patting it in because I found myself that when I, like, I do this with my brush, my foundation comes off and I get a really patchy contour, so make sure you do what I'm telling you. Like, why does it look lighter here? And, like, I don't, I don't get it. I'm sorry. It looks pretty funny, though. Know? When I do this on my clients, they go crazy because they think I'm gonna leave them line. But no, like, let me do my thing. Now I'm gonna go back to my Anastasia contour kit and I'm gonna contour my nose with fun using my my Morphe E27. I use this for eyeshadow, but I can use it for my nose too, you know? Guys, start contouring your nose. It makes such a difference. I'm not kidding. I love it. I'm in love with it. Now I cannot stop doing it. Like, it's like, can you see the difference already? And this color fawn is perfect to contour your nose because it's not orangey. It's more of a gray tone, so it looks more natural. I also like to contour my butt shin because, I don't know, I like it. So I contour my butt shin with that same shade. 
But in the butt chin is contour. I'm going back to contour my cheekbones again and I'm going to use we're going to use Java, this one right here. I'm going to use like the pointy side of the brush, you know. Get the pigmentation and apply it to my cheekbones. And with what's left over, I always bring it down to the jawline. Cause we have a double chin. We don't want people to know that. So get rid of the double chin. You know, taking off some pounds. Like I remember when I was in high school, I just graduated. I sound like an old lady. My fresh my freshman, not my freshman year of high school, I didn't use makeup at all. Summer year of high school, I started wearing BB cream. And I know you guys are like, you really started wearing makeup? Yes, because I don't know, I didn't find it necessary. I would use this Maybelline Baby Skin, which at the time I didn't know I had dry skin. And it was, it looked, my skin looked dry. Of course, throughout the day, it will, I will get sweaty and stuff like that. And the foundation will look better throughout the day. But still, like... I was like, why does this why does this foundation look, make me look like this? Blah blah blah, you know. So I hated it. I haven't buy it again. I'm thinking about buying it again. But I feel like why use a BB cream? The foundation is to cover everything, you know. But if you're barely starting, use a BB cream because I'm 100% sure you probably don't even need to wear foundation. Okay, so I will just use foundation, um, the BB cream, and red lipstick. I used to use only red lipstick all the time. And not like bright red, but I have big lips, so it, look, it will look like, bam, red lips, you know? But I would just use red lips and that, and I didn't do my brows, I, didn't put, I wouldn't put mascara or anything. I, I don't know how I would do that, I don't know how. How did I do that? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> Like, I was crazy. People still thought that I wasn't wearing makeup because it looked like I wasn't get wearing makeup. I just looked really pale. So, that's something. That's something. Like, I have tried to do it, but it doesn't look good. But <laughs> it doesn't look good, of course. For highlight, I'm going to use my Becca Shimmer Skin Perfector in Opal and my Mary Luminizer by The Balm. And I already look super dewy, but I still like to wear highlight because I like the glow. What can I say? I like the glow. We all know this. If you apply a cream highlight and then you apply a powder highlight, your, your highlight is going to be like BAM in your face. And NASA, I don't know who is going to see it in the sky, but people like birds are going to see it. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to apply a little bit on the nose because I really don't want my nose to look like... I don't want to look like a light bulb, so... We are gonna apply. We're only gonna apply a little bit to the nose. Just go crazy with the highlight. Why not? Like, and I really don't apply blush to blend the highlight with the contour. Whoa! Uh, everything's everything's falling. Get more Java, and I um, blend it because I don't want to apply blush, and the contour and the highlight becomes one. So after that, you know that I will set it with my Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray so everything becomes once and all so your face doesn't look powdery. So I love doing this, it's a must. So I finished the rest of my makeup off camera and I wanted to throw it back. I decided to wear a red lipstick because it's been a long time since I have worn a red lipstick. This is so crazy. My teeth kind of look yellow, but it's okay. My teeth, I am perfect. It's okay. So I used NARS lip liner and let me see, let me see, Corella, and I use this little sample of Kat Von D studded lipstick in under H red, and it looks like this. So it's a really bright red, and this is more like a darker red. I do kind of like an ombre lip. So. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel. What it's going to do, it will notify you every time that I upload a video. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Also, if you share my video, because that will make my day way, way better. So, thank you so much for watching. As always, los quiero mucho. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.